Okay, hey there. In this series of tutorials, we are going to learn how to program our EV3 robots here to do just about anything that we want them to. And this series will take us through several different skills from outputs to inputs to sensors to my blocks to lots of different things. But today we are going to learn the most basic skill and that is just getting our robot to go forward for as long as we want. So I have programmed this robot to go straight a certain amount of distance and when it gets to the end, it stops. So it'll look something like this and it doesn't fall off my desk, thankfully. So let's see how we can go about doing that. All right, so I have opened up my Mindstorms software and this is the home edition. And it will bring you to this screen right here. If you're using the education edition, it will be a little bit different, but it's going to be once we get past this main screen, it's the exact same thing. The first thing I want to do, all these sound effects are incredibly annoying. So I, if I click this button, it will mute all of these guys and I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now, the way to start a new project here is to just hit this little plus button up here that will add a project and it will bring you to this screen right here and I will it will tell you to document your work and this is something that will become valuable later but for now I'm just going to ignore it so if I click on that it will go away and you can see these two words right here we have the project which is like the overall project and we can have several programs within that project and if you've seen some of my tutorials before on different subjects, one thing I always like to do is name everything first so that we don't have any kind of confusion. So first thing I want to do is I want to name my project. If I go to File and Save Project or Save Project As, that will work too. And you can just name it whatever you want. I will call this Tutorials. And all of my tutorials will go into this one project, even though there will be different programs inside of that. And I can click save and you can see that it changes to tutorials.ev3. And now once I'm inside of here, I wanna change the name of this program. And if I just double click on it like that, or just click on it, I can go there, get rid of that. And I will name this uh, straight line, cool. And so now this is much more organized called tutorials and straight line. Uh, so this is a block-based programming environment, similar to Scratch, if you've ever done that. And we have this play button, and then whatever is placed on the side of this will follow after that play button. So we have this whole host of blocks to choose from. And today, we are just going to be concerned with one of these in the green tab, which are the action blocks, which is just it causes the EV3 to do something. We have our other options here, which are the control ones, which will wait or it'll loop or break the loop or it'll be a conditional statement. We'll play with those uh, in the next tutorial. This is the sensor blocks and these will be even more advanced because uh, you can control your sensors from the control or you can do it from here. This is the more advanced ones when we worry about math and variables. This one is actually called advanced so maybe I should have waited to call the other ones advanced. Uh, this is mainly due to writing files and we can invert our motors and other things, which we won't do too much of the things from here, but the data logging in that can be useful. And finally, we have the My Blocks section. And once we start to make more complex programs and we don't wanna keep on writing them again, we will uh, use this block in order to simplify that whole process but that is all going to be later on in our process for now we are just going to be concerned about these green blocks right here and you can drag any of these out and if you want to get rid of it you just press the delete button and that will get rid of it and the one that i am going to do in order to make my robot move is going to be move steering And if I have this block, and if I were to plug in my cord to the computer and press play, 
whatever is behind here will go. So let's do that and see what happens. Okay. And then it goes forward for a little bit. Now, that goes forward for a little bit at a certain speed in a certain direction, but let's see how we can do the different parameters inside of here in order to change that. So here, this is the first one that we'll talk about. Actually, no, let's talk about this first. Uh, so this is the ports that the motors are plugged into. There are four possible ports, A, B, C, and D. And you can only plug the motors into the letter ports, and you can only plug the sensors into the number ports, one, two, three, and four. So if your motors are plugged into B and C, you, and this is what it looks like, you're all good if you need to change it. Like I had A and C, this would now not work as well. Like if I press that, only one of them would go and it still didn't mess up because I'm not plugged into the correct one. I'm gonna stop that. So I'm gonna go back to B and C. So make sure that is correct or it will not work. Now, we have this little directional thing right here. And right now, this goes straight. If I were to go over here, this will go to the right. If I were to go over here, it will go to the left. That's all the way to the left. That's all the way to the right. Now, it's important to note that this is does not necessarily correspond to degrees. So if I were to do 45, or that's 46, close enough, and press play, it doesn't exactly go, and it's pretty good, but it doesn't actually go to a perfect right angle. So you're going to need to tinker around with that to get it how you want it to go. But I just want this to go straight for now. So I'm going to go straight. Now this one controls speed. Right now it's on 75 forward. Uh, if I were to go, let's say, down low, this is going to go much slower. So I press play. It goes a lot slower forward. If I were to make it go 75 backwards, it would go at a quicker speed, but backwards. And finally, if I were to make it go like all the way, it would go as fast as it possibly can. And that's how that works. And I'll make it go backwards to get back where it was. 48, cool. Now, this is the number of whatever is here uh, and what it will do. So if I were to click on this right now, this goes one rotation, meaning that the tire goes one all the way around. So if I were to double it to two, it would go twice as long. <laughs> so you want to make sure that's going forward though first. So let me try that again. And it goes twice as long as what it did. Now, there's different ways of doing this. We can do degrees, which is like that's 360 degrees, like in a circle. This is more useful for finer mo uh, for finer movements. So let's say I only want to do like a quarter of rotation. So it would be 90 degrees. And I press play. It goes very short distance. We have it on for seconds. Uh, so like right now, this is on one second. If we have two seconds, oops, there, two seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, ah, whoops. I guess two seconds was too long for that. But the good thing about these Legos is that they go right back on. There we go. And if I were to just do on, this would go on. Now, this won't go on at all because we need to like wait for a certain amount. But if you were to put this into a loop and just have it be on, it would go on forever and off just turns it off. Now the one more thing we have is we have brake and we have coast. So the ones you saw before was brake. We could also do coast and this will instead of just breaking at the end, it will Oh, it wasn't plugged in. Right. Always make sure you plug them. And make sure that works well as it should. Let me try one more time. And something's a little off. Normally it should just kind of coast to a stop. That was going a little bit after it ended, but it should have been a little smoother. But if you need to know how that works, that's what it does. Now, 
we need to experiment a little bit to get it to go a certain amount of distance. So let's say I want to get it to go to my end, the end of my desk. I tried two, that wasn't quite there. Uh, let's try three. Oh, that's pretty good, that works well. However, I don't wanna keep it plugged in all the time. So what we can do is we can go over here. We have a couple different options. Uh, this download, it will download it onto the EV3 and then we can access it from there. We can also just press play. This plays everything. So if you have multiple programs inside of here, this, um, it, like, this will just run this command. But if you had another one over here, it would run all of them like that. So I could name my brick too. So let's say, no, Kevin Bricks. So I want to download that and that should change the name and it will also be there. So I have downloaded uh, all the information onto the brick and you can see right there, it's, a, it's called Kevin Brick now, there's a new name. And there's four different tabs I can choose from by going with these buttons right here. I'm trying to make this as clear as possible. Sorry if this is shaky. But, uh, the first one that you're going to go, you can see it's in the left here, that little play button. It is the most recent ones. And so if you are doing something over again, that might be a good way to go. Uh, I've had a little confusion sometimes using that. So if, some, if you're using that tab and something doesn't, is, doesn't seem to be working very well, just try going over to this tab and this will have every single project that you have saved onto it. So my project, if you remember, is called tutorials. I have another project just called project that I, and then another one called functions, but we know where this one is because we named it correctly. So if I go into tutorials, I can see straight line is right there. And if I press play, it will run. And if it was on the ground, it would be moving forward. Uh, we also have this, you have the different port views where you can see the, where the sensors and everything is. We'll worry about that stuff later, but there are more controls there along with your settings in the fourth tab with the volume, when you want it to shut off, if you're using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and further information about your brick and obviously your battery up here. Uh, but that should equip you with the knowledge to go and see what you can or how you can make your EV3 move around and come back for the next tutorial where we will learn about how to make our EV3 move efficiently by using loops. So thank you for watching and I'll see you around. Bye.